Hey guys, Malachite here. The camera is really far away from me. I don't know if you could tell, like my arms are about three and a half feet long <laughs> each. I have a six, over six, well they say your arm span is supposed to be your height, but mine's a little bit longer than that because I'm weird. Um, anyway, so I went shopping today and I'm gonna be posting my Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree, Salvation Army, Walmart, and Target. Um, this payday, did I forget something for the Dollar Tree? I'm gonna have to do that over. No, okay, good. Um, I got stuff everywhere. Guys, there's stuff all over the place. The cats are like, what are you doing? Anyway, um, this payday, I gave myself some money to go shopping. I needed some clothes. My shorts were too big. A lot of my shirts either were too big or I'd given them away because they were too big. I've got like t-shirts and stuff, but I wanted prettier, more feminine things to wear. So, um, I'm going to show you the clothes. I bought a tank top at Walmart. I'm going to have to take it back. Seriously, this thing clings to everything. I do not know. I guess there are some plus size women that that does not bother and more power to you if that doesn't bother you. Awesome. And this probably would be fine on someone that maybe doesn't have my shape. Gabe, please don't lick that. I love my roommate's cat, but oh geez. I think I just re-injured my shoulder. Caught on camera. That really hurt. Anyway, moving on. Um, he likes to lick plastic. Anyway, so... <laughs> okay, so we're going to try to soldier on through this. But I bought this tank top. And it's this is way too big for me. This is like two sizes too big for me. The idea was it would hang baggy so I could wear it kind of like a tunic. That was the whole goal. Um, it still clings to every single piece of me ever. Um, I don't know how. I don't know why. I guess it's the fabric. Um, but I'm going to have to bring this back and trade it for something else. Because it it's terrifying. So, um, that was, I bought that at Walmart. And like I said, some plus size women, that doesn't bother you. And that's fine. I wish I had, um, more of the courage where that didn't bother me as much. But, um, I used to have more of a flat stomach, even though I'm plus size. And when they took my gallbladder out, um, this was years ago. I was like a size 18 and they took my gallbladder out and ever since then my stomach has always been kind of round and I'm, I never have gotten used to it. Now when I went to the Salvation Army I start gold. Um, I was going to pay, now I know these look a little bit worn but you know what I prefer my things worn in so um, I was going to pay $12 for this exact same pair of shorts exact same pair of shorts <laughs> at Walmart today. 13 actually. I found these at the Salvation Army. They're real thick fabric. Just my size. Nice and stretchy. I can't wear non-stretchy denim anymore. It makes me feel just absolutely cramped. Elastic waist. You know you're 40. You <laughs> get the elastic waist. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no pockets in the back, but um, I usually wear long shirts anyway, so, um, and then I think the legs are cute. They've got like a little, um, details on them. And I paid, let's see, this four, I paid $2 for these. And they're, like I said, they're stretchy. So I really, really like them. So, cause they were half price. And then I found this. It's, kind of, it's going to be kind of hard to hold this up so you can see what it's like. It's like a, it's from Coco Wan. I have no idea who that is, but it's a, it's like a tunic shirt. So the top is like this where it's fitted, kind of like my tie dye tunic. And then when it comes down to the bottom, it flares out at the bottom and has two little pockets. 
it's really, really cute. The one thing that is not really, really cute is how wide this is. But I think I've come up with a solution because my bra just shows all the way through. Um, but I think I've come up with a solution for that. So, um, but it was, how much did I pay for this? Three dollars. And it's like brand new. And it looks so cute on, really, it really does look cute. And it's really comfortable. And then I found a brown one that's really similar to it. Let me see if it says who made this one. It's a different fabric. It's kind of a woven fabric. I've got it all wadded in a weird way. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Just a moment. Is it inside out even? What have I done to this? I don't think I did this. I think she did this when she, yeah, when she was putting it in the bag. Hold on. Technical difficulties that will make videos over 15 minutes. God bless America. You guys may not be able to see this one. I cannot get it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there. I don't know that this one had a tag in it. So I think someone cut it out. This is the exact same shirt as that one. Because here's the... Yeah, this is the same shirt, just different fabric. So this will be the same company. And it's just like a woven, more sheer fa fabric. So it's really lightweight. And again, I don't know if you can see how the bottom is. And then that's the top. Again, three bucks. And I know they're cut down really far. But um, like I said, I think I've got a solution for that where my bra is not going to be up in everybody's business. And then I found this really cool skirt. I'm kind of a hippie, so some of the clothes I wear are just a little odd. It's a elastic waist, and then it kind of flares out at the knees. And it's got these really cool details all along. I don't know if you can see them along and then along the back too just kind of cool little stitching details i loved it the minute i put it on it hits just below the knee and i've i bought some t-shirt kind of things that'll go with it and i have a um, shirt that i'm actually tie-dyeing uh green and brown that'll go perfect with this and i have a t-shirt that i'm tie-dyeing the same colors that I can wear with that as well. And then I found Every Hippie's Dream tie-dye socks. There are two. So I purchased those. I don't even know how much those are. Were. Um, I found, and it's been tied, um, like someone was wearing it this way, but I found the cutest little scully scarf. Look at this. How cute is that with little hearts and skulls? It was 99 cents. Couldn't leave without that. Then I've been wanting a um, small box um, to put some of my smaller stones in and stuff so they don't get lost. Um, and I walked up, up, up upon this. It was 99 cents for this little box. And I'm going to paint it little box it just has a little hinge and then that's the inside it was just perfect it's exactly the size the size I wanted and everything and it's cute it's got these little details I thought it was so cute so I was super excited when I found that and this was actually half price because it was a bric brac so I paid 50 cents for this can't beat that. And wait till you see this. It said party light on the top. And I was like, party light, party light. And I was like, what is this? So it was 99 cents, which means I got it for 50 cents. And I opened it. And wait till you see what was in here. Let me see if I can take it out of the plastic. This 
beautiful, beautiful tea light holder. Look at this, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? It's frosted. I about came unglued. <laughs> because it reminds me of my fairies and stuff and I will find a space on this shelf for this. I don't know how. I will figure it out. I'll move one of the colored ones or something because this is absolutely beautiful. I grabbed it so fast I almost got whiplash. So yeah, that was 50 cents. So I spent $17 altogether at the Salvation Army um, for I mean, the shorts and one of the shirts at Walmart would have cost me well over the $17. And I'm so happy that I didn't, I didn't know, end up having to pay full price for, um, for the shorts. Something just kept telling me to stop there. And it's not half price there today. But I thought, you know, I'll stop because sometimes other stuff's half price. And I don't mind paying... If you mind paying full price to the South Asian Army, you're cheap. I'm cheap. So, I, I admit it. Everybody makes fun of me for it. But I admit it. I am cheap as hell. So, um, but I'm really pleased with everything that I got. Um, I think I did really good. And um, I'll show you uh, when I do the Walmart haul. I think I'm going to make that a separate video. Um because it's like a Walmart slash makeup haul and it'll, I don't want to make these videos too, too long. That way people can split them out, watch them as they want to. So anyway, that was my Salvation Army haul and, um, I'm going to do my Walmart haul next. So big shopping day. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was hot out. You could cut the air with a butter knife. It was so humid. Um, so, but I haven't done a day like this in so long because I just, it's not something that I can super afford to do, but, um, I worked it out in my budget this payday to do it because I need, I needed clothes and my shorts are too big. You know, I needed a few more shirts. I'm, I'm pretty much set now. So, um, I really don't have to get anything else unless... I just go to Salvation Army and see something I can't live without. So, um, anyway, uh, on to the Walmart haul. So, um, I shall return. I'm checking the time. I have to scoot up <laughs> to turn this off. Bless it be, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.